one of the top contenders in the light welterweight division currently, El Gato himself, Jack Catterall. We looked at a huge name to his resume this weekend in the shape of former WBA light welterweight champion Regis Progre over in Manchester on Saturday. Catterall has just one defeat in his resume to date, which, you know, most people would agree, you know, he probably shouldn't have. Um, you know, he acquitted himself extremely well up in the OVO Hydro in front of a, you know, a fairly hostile crowd in Glasgow and, you know, really should have gotten the decision in that one against Josh Taylor. But, you know, he did manage to get his revenge uh, in their recent rematch this year near Catterall's hometown in Leeds um, back in May. A fight that was super competitive, however. You know, Catterall, after starting that fight fast, did allow Josh Taylor the opportunity to get back into that fight. And it was fairly nip and tuck between the two, you know, across the last couple of rounds. I thought we might be heading to a potential draw on that one. Um, maybe Catterall just about edging it from his... Is better earlier work, but you know, the two 117 111 cards were a bit of a joke, uh, in all honesty, to me. Far too wide, it had led to that whole uh Bob Arum meltdown in the ring after the fight. Um, but it really sets up an interesting clash for Catterall this weekend against you know another top fighter in Regis Program. Before we get into a best bet for this one, I just want to mention um about Wage Talks, you know, action packed November special, which is going on right now over on site. Um, as I'm sure everyone is aware, November is the most jam packed month of the entire sport and calendar. You know, we've got NFL, college football, NBA, NHL, college basketball, soccer, boxing, rugby. You know, you name it, if it's getting played, it's probably getting played in November. Um, and to celebrate that fact, Wager Talk is offering the entire month of November for under eight dollars per day, all five percent plays included as well. So make sure and check that out before you know we get into the busiest month. Of the entire year. Return to the best bet for this fight, however. And, you know, Regis Progress definitely lost a step at 35 for me. Um, huge periods of inactivity combined, you know, with fighting subpar opponents across the last few years as well. You know, definitely hasn't helped uh, that regression. Um, you know, especially from where he once was, you know, five years ago at the top of the sport in the final of that World Boxing Super Series against Josh Taylor. You know, Progress was extremely lucky to come out on the right side of a decision against Delito Zorilla last year. Um, big hometown fight for Progre in that one. He inked that new promotional deal as well. But it's a fight he lost, in my opinion. You know, Progre, you know, then looked even worse in his next fight against Devin Haney um, late last year as well in December. You know, he was slow. He was laboured. Um, he was put down, surprisingly, in that fight as well, as he was in the Zorilla fight before that. You know, the referee incor incorrectly ruling that a slip. So, you know, this is a long, long way from the vintage version of uh, Regis Progre that we saw against Josh Taylor all those years ago. And he's up against a fighter in Catterall this weekend who is one of the best movers in the entire 140-pound division. You know, you'd have him right up there with the likes of Sandor Martin, um, you know, Devin Haney in terms of knowing how to defend himself. You know, he's a very good mover, keeps the back keeps his back off the ropes, you know, slip and counter effectively. He's got that chin tucked in behind his left hand as well. Um, knows how to fight at length, fight at range. He's got a good jab. He's just an all-round extremely defensively responsible fighter. Um, you know, and he need to be here as well. You know, if there's one thing that Regis Progress still has left at this point, it's power. But, you know, as in the Devin Haney fight, I just believe Regis Progress is a little bit too slow and laboured to take advantage of that fact at this point. You know, Progre mentioned in a recent interview that Car Carol's style, I should say, was tailor-made for him. You know, I know you have to be optimistic heading into a fight, but I'm really struggling to see where where he's coming from with that statement, given Carol's, you know, elite-level footwork, uh, you know, kind of like Haney's and Martin's, as we said. It is among the best in the division for me. So, you know, I just believe we see another wide, wide Catterall points decision in this one. Um, you know, Catterall is a boxing technician at the end of the day. He doesn't take risks in order to get rid of an opponent as well. He likes to set into a rhythm, um, you know, reminiscent to someone like Dimitri Bivol, where, you know, he makes his construct, you know, figures you out, and he'll pretty much stay in that one mode for the rest of the fight. Something that nearly cost him in that Josh Taylor rematch, I have to say. You know, he allows those opponents back into fights, but He's so effective once he gets into a rhythm. Um, but in terms of how I see the fight end, and look, you know, Regis Brugge has never been stopped. He's an incredibly durable fighter. Um, fighters, you know, opponents of his are obviously still wary of that power that he brings as well. And I don't see, you know, Jack Catter, like we said, he sets into a rhythm. 
I just don't see him being the man to snap that streak either. So for me, you know, as I said, I just see this being a wide points decision in England for Catterall this weekend. And so much so that instead of taking the, the Catterall by decision price, that I believe it's around minus 170 right now, I'm going to boost those odds and take Catterall by unanimous decision specifically, which you can pick up at plus 110 right now, which, you know, is a significant boost in a fight I see going fairly similarly to the Devin Haney fight. So Jack Catterall for me to win by unanimous decision this weekend at plus 110. That'll be a best bet from me for Saturday. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Is Jack Catterall, you know, a major player now in the 140-pound division? Or, you know, will we see a sting in the tail um, from the former champ this weekend? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It's always appreciated. Until next time, slana walia and best of luck on all your bets.